The USC Trojans finished with a bang, four five-star prospects in the last two days to push them up to number one in the country ahead of Alabama. The last team to break up Alabama's recruiting run, the USC Trojans back in 2010. So 2015 is their year. Uh, they got two quarterbacks in this class, Ricky Town and Sam Darnold. Uh, both of those guys can throw the ball, run a little bit, move around, but mostly pocket guys. You expect one of them to emerge at the running back position. Ronald Jones is an outstanding prospect, but you got to talk about the guys they finish with pretty much. Porter Gustin, a five-star out of Utah, committed to them on Tuesday. Kid reminds me a lot of Brian Cushing, uh, who, who obviously went to USC, played part linebacker, part defensive end, went on to the NFL. Big physical kid can move very well in space for his size. And then, of course, you complement him with John Houston, who committed on signing day from Sarah, a pipeline school, uh, a long, rangy outside linebacker who's excellent in coverage. And Rasheem Green, his teammate, decided to commit to USC as well. He's best at, at, as a defensive end, as an outside guy at 6'4", 290. Uh, but he could play inside as well. He, he's a very big kid, comes off the football extremely well, and he's going to play very well with Noah Jefferson from Nevada, a kid that I think is going to emerge as an absolute star there. But the biggest name in this class is obviously Iman Marshall, the number one cornerback in the country, number one player in the state of California, six foot one, 200 pounds, great instincts, just one of the best all around technical cornerbacks I've ever scouted. Reminds me of a young Patrick Peterson, who was Patrick Johnson back in the day as a five-star. Um, you know, has a little bit more size than he does, but a physical guy up front, you know, not afraid to throw his weight around in the run game, and also tremendous in coverage. You can put him on an island and he'll be just fine. So this is a really good class at almost every position, and, and really I don't think they missed on one top target down the stretch. So that speaks very well of Steve, Steve Sarkeesian and his staff and they are building momentum for next year and beyond this is the first year they've been able to really go full uh, full out bonkers when it comes to scholarships and i think you're going to start to see usc recruit like the usc of old and that will lead to them playing on the field like the usc of old so number one for the usc trojans in 2015. Yahoo!